The officials spoke about the report on the condition of anonymity because of the sensitivity of the intelligence. When asked by email on Wednesday whether Chinese officials had urged Russian officials to delay an invasion of Ukraine until after the Olympics, Liu Penju, the Chinese embassy spokesman in Washington, said, these claims are speculation without any basis and are intended to blame shift and smear China. China held the closing ceremony of the Olympics on February 20. The next day, Mr. Putin ordered more Russian troops to enter an insurgent-controlled area of eastern Ukraine after state television broadcast a meeting between him and his National Security Council and, separately, a furious speech in which he said Ukraine should be a part of Russia. Early on February 24, the Russian military began a full-scale invasion of Ukraine, including carrying out attacks on cities with ballistic missiles, artillery and tanks. For 20 years, Vladimir Opotinin, one of Russia's richest men, has been a key supporter of the Guggenheim Museum, serving as a trustee and major benefactor, while his foundation sponsored exhibitions, including the current show in New York about the Russian artist Wassily Kandinsky. But the museum said on Wednesday that Mr. Potanin was stepping down as one of its trustees, a position he has held since 2002. It gave no reason for the decision, but the museum's statement referenced the war in Ukraine, and Mr. Potanin has been closely associated with President Vladimir V. Putin of Russia. Vladimir Potanin has advised the board of trustees of his decision to step down as trustee effective immediately, the Guggenheim said in a statement. The Guggenheim accepts this decision and thanks Mr. Potanin for his service to the museum and his support of exhibition, conservation and educational programs. The Guggenheim strongly condemns the Russian invasion and unprovoked war against the government and people of Ukraine. Mr. Potanin is the latest in a line of Russian artists and owners whose stances on the war and positions in the cultural world have been challenged as outrage over the Russian invasion grows. On Tuesday, Petra Ven, another prominent Russian businessman, stepped down as a trustee at the Royal Academy of Arts in London, which said it was returning his donation toward a current exhibition, Francis Bacon, Man and Beast. Mr. Aven had recently come under sanctions from the European Union, which described him as one of Vladimir Putin's closest oligarchs. Others in the arts world who have been affected by reaction to the war include Valery Gurdjieff, the Russian maestro and prominent supporter of Mr. Putin, who was removed this week from his post as chief conductor of the Munich Philharmonic after he refused to denounce Mr. Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Mr. Potanin has also given millions of dollars to the Kennedy Center in Washington, where his name is inscribed on a wall. The center used some of the money Mr. Potanin donated to install a meeting space known as the Russian Lounge, which was created and designed by notable Russian artists and featured artworks from Valery Koshlyakov. This is a complicated issue, and we are actively assessing the best way to address it in the short and long terms," Brendan Padgett, a spokesman for the Kennedy Center, said of its association with Mr. Potanin. Until this weekend, the daily high-speed trains from St. Petersburg to Helsinki would typically transport far fewer than the several hundred passengers each could accommodate. But on Saturday, a wave of travelers looking to leave Russia started packing trains destined for Finland. We've had full trains from St. Petersburg from Sunday onward, Topi Samola, the senior vice president of passenger services at Finnish Railways, said in a telephone interview. They are leaving for good, he said. You can see that from the luggage they carry. Tatjana Arifjeva, who lives in Budapest, was visiting relatives in Russia when the invasion started, according to the Finnish newspaper Huftadstadsbladet. She took the morning train to Helsinki on Monday. It was the only way out of Russia, Ms. Arifjeva was quoted as saying, noting that many countries had closed their airspace to Russian flights since the invasion of Ukraine last Thursday. The Allegro line takes 3.5 hours to travel the roughly 250 miles from St. Petersburg to Helsinki. The service is a joint venture between the Finnish VR Group and Russian Railways, which are both state-owned companies. The line was suspended during the pandemic, but started running again at half capacity in December. Two trains leave St. Petersburg a day, and tickets are only available to Finnish and Russian nationals.